Ménager la chèvre et le chou. Ménager la chèvre et le chou. Être bête comme chou. Être bête comme chou. These are funny colloquial French expressions. Adding more French expressions to your French helps you become more fluent and more fun. And that's pretty good when you want to speak a language. Let's see what those mean and learn a few more. As usual with Come in Francaise, you can download the full written lesson on the blog. You just have to leave your first name and email. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you find the link below the video. Do not miss it. It's very good for vocabulary. If you're watching this on YouTube as well, don't miss out on the free crash course that I offer. It's a 10 day everyday French crash course. If you're watching this on the blog, you will have the link below as well. You just have to leave your first name and email and you will get access to lesson one immediately. And you will also get a free email in French about the lesson every Tuesday. That's very nice because you can practice your comprehension of written French and it's pretty fun. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française. Allez, c'est parti. The first expression which I mentioned in the intro is ménager la chèvre et le chou. Ménager la chèvre et le chou. Ménager, ménager sounds a bit like ménage. Maybe you know this word. Ménage, it's cleaning. We saw it in uh, the lesson about French expressions with ménage in it. You remember? If not, you can watch the lesson afterwards. So ménager is cleaning. Uh, une chèvre is a goat, une chèvre, and un chou is a cabbage. Un chou is a cabbage. So, is it like cleaning the cabbage and the goat? No. Actually, it comes from another verb, which is se ménager, that we saw in the lesson I mentioned. Se ménager is to take care of oneself, to stop making unnecessary efforts as preparation for later. You just give yourself a bit of time. We mentioned that in the lesson. If we remove the se at the beginning, we only have ménager. Then we come back to this original meaning, which is to be economical with something, to be frugal about something. And then it's not cleaning anymore. It's a different meaning. And this is the meaning that we have in ménager la chèvre et le chou. Is it to be economical with the goat and the cabbage? No, it's even beyond that. According to Le Robert, Le Robert, the very famous French dictionary, it means ne pas prendre parti, actually. You see, we go beyond being economical. It's ne pas prendre parti. You're being economical with um, what you have in not taking sides. You keep both parties sweet. And when I was doing my research for this lesson, I found that you have an expression in English that's pretty funny as well. It's run with the hare and hunt with the hounds, which I didn't know before. So that's ménager la chèvre et le chou. Ménager la chèvre et le chou. It means to keep both parties sweet, to not take sides. Here is an example. Le président ménage la chèvre et le chou en ne répondant pas aux questions des journalistes. Le président ménage la chèvre et le chou en ne répondant pas aux questions des journalistes. What does that mean? The president is keeping both parties sweet by not answering the journalists' questions. Okay, that's ménager la chèvre et le chou. And now you know one more French expression. Our second expression for today is être bête comme chou. Être bête comme chou. What does it mean? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Well, actually we use c'est bête comme chou more than être bête comme chou, which is the infinitive of the verb. C'est bête comme chou. So, let's think about that. Bête as an adjective. Bête in French means stupide. Stupide is the same in English, okay? Stupide. Bête as an adjective means stupide. You can write this down. So, does it mean stupid as a cabbage? No. It means simple. Simply simple, obviously. Simple, but also enfantin. It means... Um, Easy even for a child. Enfantin. 
facile à comprendre, easy to understand, facile à comprendre. Être bête comme chou, ou plutôt c'est bête comme chou, means simple, enfantin, facile à comprendre. In English, you would say dead easy. Okay, that's être bête comme chou, but we say more c'est bête comme chou. For example, something that is pretty true, acheter une baguette en France, c'est bête comme chou. Acheter une baguette en France, c'est bête comme chou. To buy a baguette in France is very easy. Our third expression today is faire chou blanc. Faire chou blanc. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Faire chou blanc. Faire chou blanc literally means make a white cabbage. Doesn't make any sense. Make a white cabbage, no. Faire chou blanc. Well, actually, faire chou blanc means échouer in French. Échouer. Faire chou blanc means échouer. Échouer means to fail or to draw blank. And I think we have the same meaning between blanc, which is white, and blank. Okay, here it's, you can see a similar meaning here. Faire chou blanc to draw a blank, which means to fail. Échouer. Faire chou blanc. For example, you can use it this way. Nathalie est allée à Paris pour chercher un appartement, mais elle a fait chou blanc. Nathalie est allée à Paris pour chercher un appartement, mais elle a fait chou blanc. You understand that? Nathalie went to Paris to look for an apartment, but she failed. She didn't find one. Elle a fait chou blanc. A super cute one now. Un petit bout de chou. Or un bout de chou. Un petit bout de chou. As you can hear in this expression, I remove lots of letters. So in everyday life with French friends, I would say un bout de chou. Un bout de chou. I take all the sounds and I put them together. Un bout de chou. Usually we say un petit bout de chou because this is what we're going to talk about later. It means, what do you think it means? Well, un bout, un bout, as you might know, is un morceau. We don't say the T at the end. Un bout is un morceau. Un morceau. And that's a piece in English. Okay? Un bout is a piece. Un bout is un morceau in French, and it's a piece in English. So does it mean a piece of cabbage? Well, no. Actually, it means a child, a baby. It can be a boy or a girl. It's the same. Un petit bout de chou. It's kind of a little piece of human, it could be, but actually it's a child or a baby, a boy or a girl. Un petit bout de chou. Also, you can say un petit bout, un petit bout. Okay, so you can say un bout de chou, un petit bout de chou, or just un petit bout, and this means a child or a baby. For example, you can say comment va ton petit bout de chou? Comment va ton petit bout de chou? How is your child or your baby? Comment va ton petit bout de chou? Être chou is our last expression for today. Être chou. Is it to be a cabbage? No. Être chou. Être chou, when you use chou as an adjective, which is the case here, être Chou, chou is the adjective, is to be nice, to be cute, to be charming. It's, um, I would say, familiar French. It's not vulgar at all. It's just everyday language because this is what you would say to someone you're familiar with. You would not say that to your boss or someone you don't know in the streets. Être chou. When we use this as a noun, un chou ou un petit chou, In familiar, everyday French, it means a dear, a sweetheart, a darling. So again, it's something you would say uh, to maybe your partner, but your child or someone you know very, very well. Usually, it's um, a child or a baby. You can also say mon petit chou, mon chou. When you add the possessive, mon, mine, uh, my cabbage, it, it means my dear, my darling, okay? I can't give you a precise translation because this is such intimate talk that it will be up to you to decide whether you use uh, sweetheart, dear, or darling. 
It's really up to your country and your customs. So we have être chou, which means to be cute. Être chou, and you can use un petit chou to say a sweetheart, a darling, or mon petit chou to mean my dear. For example, when we're talking about a baby, we can say Jules est très chou quand il suce son pouce dans son berceau. Jules est très chou quand il suce son pouce dans son berceau. Jules est très chou quand il suce son pouce dans son berceau. What does that mean? Did you understand? It means Jules is very cute when he sucks his thumb in his cradle. That's the translation for berceau. Berceau is cradle in French. Berceau. So, what did you learn today? How would you say Jean is cute? How would you say Jean is cute? How would you say it's very simple? With cabbage, obviously, because that's the goal of the lesson. It's very simple. And how would you say Anne doesn't take sides? Anne doesn't take sides in French with the word cabbage in French, obviously, because that's the goal of the lesson. Okay, so what do you think? Jean is cute. Jean est chou. Jean est chou. We saw chou as an adjective means cute. It's very simple. C'est bête comme chou. C'est bête comme chou. That's very simple. C'est bête comme chou. And at last, Anne doesn't take sides. Anne ménage la chèvre et le chou. Anne ménage la chèvre et le chou. If you use these expressions, people will be very, very impressed and your French will be even more cute than it was before. Et toi, tell me in French in the comment area below, what's your favorite expression with vegetables? In French, obviously. You can say, for example, j'aime bien mettre du beurre dans les épinards car j'adore manger les épinards de mon jardin. J'aime bien mettre du beurre dans les épinards car j'adore manger les épinards de mon jardin. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards, if you remember, means to add some money to your existing situation. So to make it better. Mettre du beurre dans les épinards, literally to add butter to your spinach, which is a good thing. If you like this lesson, if you learned something today, which I hope you did, Please share this lesson with a friend. You can do this in any way you like. You can do this by email, on social media if you like, uh, by telling your friends or maybe telling even your French class about this because maybe they want to learn more French expressions as well. If you want more French for yourself, subscribe to my 10-day everyday French crash course. It is completely free. You will find it on Comme une Française. You just have to leave your first name and your email and you will get access to lesson one straight away. Also, which is something I always forget to mention, when you subscribe to the course, you also get my weekly email in French about the lesson of the week. So you can practice your comprehension of written French as well. And I give little extra tips as well. So I hope to see you there. It's a fantastic community. We have lots of fun. Join us. I wish you a fantastic day, une bonne journée, une bonne soirée, maybe a good evening or just une bonne nuit if you're going to bed. I will see you next Tuesday on Commune Française. Allez, salut, à mardi prochain.